Uh, so we're down here at the Shoreditch HQ on a piss wet Thursday and this is Donny Little, a fr friend of ours from the bike shed. If you've come down here, you've probably seen him loitering, drinking Budvars and smoking fags in the corner. So Donny actually lives in America, even though it doesn't sound like it, uh, Philadelphia. That's true. So he's going to be our man on the ground, going to events, going to track events, doing a bit of racing, press launches, that sort of thing. So we thought we'd get Donny in to talk us through his beautiful CBR 900 Fireblade. I first met Donny at Untitled Motorcycles in about 2013. He was riding a fairly beaten up Ducati Monster, which yes. I ended up buying off you. You did. We became friends and then you came down here and then we've not been able you to did. get rid of you since. We were friends right up until the fact that I discovered you'd sold it for more than I sold it to you for. Yeah, we can't put that bit in because the guy that I sold it to I raced with. Oh. So we'll have to cut that bit out. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, not much more. But my, my time was invaluable. <laughs> But yeah, so we've been friends ever since, and it actually turns out Don is not only a good bloke, a good writer, he's a musician, plays the triangle for a band. A Yamaha Music, don't yes. they sponsor you for triangles? Yes. Band, mate, writer, and bike racer. X. Back in the day. I gave it a go for two years and realised that I liked going round tracks really quickly by myself and not with a bunch of axe murderers. And prior to that, you were a motorcycle courier in London, weren't you? Well, I did that at the same time. I was a dispatch rider and financing my racing with riding 14-hour days on a bike and then race at weekends because that's what you do. But you, you made it through, you survived? Yeah. I mean, that's the, the mark of a successful dispatch rider is a decade-long career and I don't walk with a limp. That's pretty good going. Yeah. Did yeah. you deliver anything? I delivered the sword from Braveheart, which was interesting because it didn't fit my courier bag, so I, I just had it kind of strapped on with bungees. So let, let's talk through this wonderful machine front to back of all the, uh, the modifications and custom bits. It is, it is a thing I've of beauty. the custom bit, Dan, when you're doing some zoom around later, it's got a Pro Bolt purple, it, well, M5, M6 there holding a I tank? I think yeah, that would be an M6 mm. um, bolt and it is an anodized purple. Yeah. So <laughs> apart from that customization and this cable tie here, run us the, through that the cable the tie is very important actually. That stops the clutch cable dragging against the fairing I and see. then pulling the clutch on when you go around the corner. And, and this, this one here? What would you call this? I'd call that a performance enhancing fabricated, yes. I, I, steady, it's a light, fairing steady. It's a lightweight fastener. Obviously the main feature of this fire blade is the stickers. That's not intended. Um, basically somebody ran it over just after I got it. I wasn't on it, it was just parked outside. Smashed all the fairing to bits. I stitched it all together using zip ties and... Naked lady stickers. I just used what I had lying around. Funnily, I weirdly had lots of pictures of naked women, so I used a lot of those. Um, <laughs> That's why the fairings like that. Also, the whole tail unit got smashed to bits. So right. this is a Chinese pattern part. I'm not sure which pattern they took it off. It certainly wasn't off a CBR 900, <laughs> but it kind of fits and has a similar silhouette. So that will work just now. What else? It's got a purple anodized it, it brake adjuster. Nod to the 90s, obviously. Yeah. That's, uh, that's 1993 right there. And there's, right. A, there's a matching, so I like the color coordinated. Just, just the one. It. Just yeah. the one M6. Um, it also there. matches my purple seat. But yeah, I didn't put that on. They real came, life they for detail. Yeah. Oh, okay. Pipe is full titanium Acra system. With one modification, which uh, obviously is the uh, Coke can and Jubilee clip, because the slip on slipped off. So right. this is now keeping it that's, there. That's a professional and it works, fix. So it's staying there. <laughs> Forks, revalved and resprung by Maxon. Rear shock, fully adjustable. YSS, Taiwanese company. Yeah. I think it's YSS. It is YSS, yeah. Really cheap, really good. I've had Nitron shocks before, Maxon shocks before. This is equally as good and it's fully rebuildable. And it was about 350 quid. Yeah, they're, they're good value. So that's pretty good. Loads of the custom guys yeah. use them. I left it outside my house one night and someone stole my front calipers. Just the calipers? Just the calipers. They, came out, they, they cut the hoses and yeah. took the calipers. Yeah. Um, which was alarming when I got on it, obviously. So I replaced them with calipers off the 954. It was a slightly later model. Yeah, and they go straight on and they work a lot better. Do they? Yeah. And it's got um, grippy bits because you have taken it on track, haven't you? I do like the grippy bits, but the trouble with these ones, these are the kind of uh, cheaper ones. skate grip tape uh, ones okay. and they just rip everything to bits. But um, they are excellent at saving your bollocks from being squashed in the tank. 
and also for hanging on around Lydon Hill because you did that we did two Lydon, weeks ago. I week did. Ago. Well, I, I did. Have you got any footage of that that Dan can stick in? Um, I do have some footage of me wobbling around. Yes, right. it was quite good. Well, we'd done the calf Racer Cup yeah. on the Triumph Street Cup. That's right. I was a bit frustrated because it wasn't as quick as the other bikes. Then. Uh, 55 so that was, horsepower that was isn't going to 54 horsepower. I think 54. it's 54. I think it's 54 horsepower. I'm, I'm going to claim that one back. Yeah. And a single brake uh, disc up front. Single disc with ABS and spongy forks. So, so wanted I wanted to see what yeah. the old blade would go around just to see um, if Adam Child had anything to worry about. Does he? Or this. Or this mm. would have murdered him. Would it? <laughs> Did you hear that, Chad? <laughs> You're going to get murdered. <laughs> other than that, it's got Harris rear sets because the other ones you end up wearing your boots out. Every bearing, every thing that's supposed to go up and down or side to side has been replaced. If it's moved, you've lubed it. Yes, it's right. all they're all brand new. It's chain sprocket kit. It's down one at the front and three up at the back, which gives it lowers the gearing quite a bit. And despite having six, nearly 65,000 on the clock, yep. there's bugger all wrong with it, is there? No, it still grows. When I first got it, I um, took the head off it and had a look, mm. just to see what kind of condition it was in, and it was also Was that nice. your, your old dark garage up the road? In that dungeon, yeah. yeah. The manhole, we used to call <laughs> it. Other than that, it's, that's, that's the entire but thing. You, you frequently ride up to see your mum in Scotland, don't you? I do. Um, I went up for Sunday lunch. So I only had one day, so I rode up, had lunch, had a tour kit and rode back, which was, was just it? over a thousand miles. Jesus. Again in the pissing rain, <laughs> when we had those big storms. Yeah. Was it a decent lunch though, at least? My you're mom, on camera, so you've got to say that it was semi-decent. My mum's a wonderful cook. Right, okay. Uh, also the stealth number plate, which you like. Oh yeah, I do like the stealth number plate, it's just no, chain wax. Don't tell everybody, because it's a secret and I keep seeing old Bill in here, so. Yeah, I don't think they look at number plates, they're just worried about the donuts and the coffee. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, that's it, that's everything. Splendid. So if it turns out that Donny is as good at writing articles about bikes as he is at playing the triangle um, for bands on big stages, then hopefully you'll see a bit more of him. And not that I dislike your bike, Donny, but hopefully in front of shinier, newer stuff, or maybe more custom stuff, yeah. out in the States. So you're yes. heading back there today or tomorrow? Today. No, actually, no. I'm probably late. That's fine. That'll be right. They'll wait for you. So if, if anyone out there wants Donny to ride their bike, race their bike, test their gear, or just hang out and drink Budvar, then give us a shout. I do like Budvar. It's nice, isn't it? Mm. So Donny's had to run off, so I'll show you how it sounds. <laughs> Donnie's actually uh, Ewan McGregor's uh, older brother, if you wonder where the funny accent comes from. Dan, you can stick some subtitles on all of this? <laughs> we'll probably need them. Um, so that so it, is a proper, it is a proper shed-built shit, uh, not shit, uh, shed-built, what would you call it? Um, it's a survivor, that's what shed I call it. Shed-built survivor. Yeah. That'll do. And actually, I've just noticed there's a bit more anodising here. There so is another a, custom part. Yeah, that's 1990s original. Um, that's, that's very smart. Probably from Buster's catalogue. Yeah. And how are you for tyres? You're one of these people that comes in, and I usually moan that you've, you've completely bought, worn your tyres out and they're completely cooked, but for a change, they don't look too bad. This one's not bad. It's a little bit cooked at the edges, but it's all right. It's, um, it's cooked so, on the right hand side from Lydon, no doubt. Yeah, well, Lydon Hill's got mostly right handers, so mm -hmm. it's got. The right hand, it's a bit wonky now. Um, Bridgestone S20s, which last forever and stick when it's raining or snowing or whatever, they yep. just seem to work. It would be nice to have sticky tyres, but I do too many miles for that. No, that's a, that's a man's clutch, isn't it? Yeah, it's quite a manly clutch, yeah. Because yeah. Right. there's no point in using metal fasteners when you can use plastic, because they're much lighter. They are lighter, And yeah. it flexes, so I think that's an improvement. And when you've got a bit of money together, will you get a colour-coded one, or are you going to stick with the white? Um, the white ones are stronger because they're, they don't, they're not affected by the dye, because the dye affects the right, okay. strength of oh, the Oh, I suppose they tie. reflect a bit of sunlight as well, don't they, being they white? They do, yeah. I know everybody likes doing this. You know, Can I try that? You, do you want to do that? Yeah, I'll do that. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Isn't it? Well, the, the reason that's all stripped is it, I broke down once in a, in a services, so I stripped all the wires so I could try and find out where it was shorting out. 
turned out it wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was back there somewhere. It was back here. <laughs> but I spent a good two hours um, going through every single wire. Right. Oh, wheel bearings. Because yeah, it, it has some. It does have wheel bearings. That's useful. I can leave it if you want to get some close-ups of all the really modified parts. Dan, do you want to do some close-ups of the modifications? <laughs> 